This video will cover the topic, transforming the graph of a natural exponential function. What does the graph of a natural exponential function typically look like? A natural exponential function features the constant e raised to some variable x, and its graph looks like this. We can transform this graph by altering the function. We can translate the graph horizontally, reflect the graph across an axis, and translate the graph vertically. By convention, we typically perform these transformations in the order we have listed them. So let's see what happens if we want to transform the graph of y equals e raised to the x to make the graph of y equals negative e raised to the x minus 6. Looking at our original graph, we see that it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. This tells us that the range is 0 to infinity, not including 0. We also see that there are no restrictions on our x values, so the domain is negative infinity to infinity. Now we need to perform each transformation. Let's first see if we have any horizontal translations. Since we are subtracting a number next to x, that means we do, right? Right. We see that the first step to obtaining our new function is subtracting 6 from x in the exponent. This corresponds to a horizontal translation of the original graph to the right 6 units. Next, we need to see if we're reflecting the graph across an axis. Well, I noticed that there's a negative sign next to e, so I think we reflect the graph, but I'm not sure which axis to reflect it across. You're right that we need to reflect the graph across an axis. Since the whole e expression is negated, we reflect the graph across the x-axis. If the x in the exponent had been negated, we would have reflected the graph across the y-axis. Okay, I think that makes sense. Now we have to check for a vertical translation, right? That's right. We see that we don't have any numbers added or subtracted to the e expression, which means we have no vertical translations. Now that we've checked for different types of possible transformations, we see that this is the final graph of y equals negative e raised to the x minus 6. After these transformations, the horizontal asymptote is still y equals 0. However, now all the y-coordinates of the points on the graph are negative, so the range is now negative infinity to 0, not including 0, and the domain is still negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so when transforming the graph of a natural exponential function, we need to pay attention to constants being added or subtracted to the function in some way, as well as check to see if anything is negated. These operations will correspond to possible horizontal and vertical translations, as well as reflections across the x or y axis. That's exactly right. Great work!